Hey everyone, long time no chat. If you're new here, hello, welcome, my name is Shannon. I am really excited to share a few updates with you guys. First off, happy 2023. It's been a very exciting year so far. I wanted to finally give you guys a full update on my arrow garden officially it's been 124 days since i planted everything and if you guys saw the previous video where i did actually do all of the planting i know there are some comments like whoa that is too many plants to all fit in one and at the end of the day i just wanted to share with you guys the journey what went right what went wrong i do have some footage i have filmed throughout this update it is november 1st Tuesday, November 1st. Let me show you a few things. We got these, this is um, a cucumber and I see like it budding some flowers. So I feel like that is a good sign. It's still hanging on strong. So I think that's okay, these onions. Um, I'm gonna cut them soon just to eat them. I already cut a bunch of this lettuce to eat. This lettuce is amazing. The cucumber has taken hold of the green onion. <laughs> So I'm gonna release that. And then back here, what was this? Oh, broccoli. I don't see any broccoli yet, but like this is day 46, 46. This is crazy, like how far this comes out. So that is what I will be getting into in today's video because I am going to actually take down a lot of this and restart something. My dog just needs in the background if you heard that. What I am restarting, I'm not too sure yet, but I also wanted to share the reason I have been a little MIA. We got really into wedding planning right after we got engaged in October. So just a small update with that. We do have a venue, we do have a date, and we're kind of just looking at all the vendors. You wanna come say hi? Mushi will be there, of course. He's getting groomed tomorrow. Um, right now, we're just going down a list of like vendors we need, doing our research and outreach there. I know we just got back in from a walk. That was so fun, huh? Side note, it's still been pretty cold here in New York. It's not the worst winter I've ever seen growing up. It was like really bad. <laughs> growing up like super harsh winters. We've had a ton of days that are 40, even 50 degrees and it being mid-January. I'm pretty excited that, you know, hopefully after February, it'll really just warm up for the spring. But back to the wedding planning, that is where I'm going to be for a while. I do want to share about that, but maybe more so after the fact, because going through it, I feel like you just have to focus, do your research, get things done, and then maybe sharing things after the fact you guys would like, or seeing like different events, stuff like that. So let me know if you are interested in any of the wedding planning stuff that goes on, if you wanna see any of that, and I'll definitely work on sharing that more. Okay, now for the main event, my arrow garden. I wanna bring you guys in a little bit closer so you can see all the details. Okay, I think you can see this pretty well now. So here was my cucumber. Something is happening. I know it's normal to grow these flowers, but I feel like they're turning, I don't know, I feel like they're shriveling up and dying. But I wanna show you guys, ow, <laughs> oh my gosh. This, I have a cucumber. It is so spiky, even the leaves. Like it hurts so bad to pick up the leaves. Anyway, after 124 days, one cucumber that's what i have from that this is the broccoli it actually goes really far up here are the top of the stems there hasn't really been much edible broccoli i'll pick off like the one thing maybe i could eat this is the only piece that actually looks like broccoli and the rest are just it's like budding yellow flowers like here i don't know what that means so anyway the rest of these are shriveling up and dying too you can hear like it does have water in here. So I'm just not sure what all of that means that I have so many yellow leaves like this that are just dying off. They seem like, I don't know, they seem kind of like soaking like really wet in the stem. I don't know if that means anything. Here we have something amazing, something incredible. I tried to actually repot these, but it hasn't worked out so far. Maybe since I'm just taking down everything in here to start over, I'll just take all of these out and put it in a pot. So oh, this is so pretty. So these are my green onions. And the thing is, look at these roots, it's so cool. The thing is, the air garden is so much fun, but like definitely don't rely on it to have food. 
weekly because I've definitely chopped some off. You can see the shorter ones. I've chopped those to use. And then it takes maybe like two two more weeks to grow some more back <laughs> for like for like literally just one meal. Okay, over here, I might keep this one because now that there is enough room, like these cucumbers are going off to the side and I pushed this broccoli back. Maybe these are dying and falling off of the broccoli because it doesn't have sun because it's grown like too far up. I don't know. So now that my pepper has a little bit of room, it's starting to grow and it actually has roots. Like it didn't have roots before, that's how you know it's growing. There is a little flower here and then these little things, I think that's going to be like the actual pepper. And then I forget what this was. I think this was spinach, it just never grew. So I just put a cap on that. And then last but not least, I wanna share kind of like what happened with my lettuce. So I'll spin this around here so you can see. The top looks better than the bottom. The bottom is so interesting. So the bottom is definitely where I was picking off lettuce to eat. But all of a sudden, the leaves are all getting super brown like this. Getting these like black spots. And it doesn't smell good. Like I don't know what's going on here. It doesn't smell good. I did try and repot some lettuce, so I'll see how that goes. But, man, these roots are serious. <laughs> okay, these roots are gonna be super thick to pull out. But the bottom is dying off. Like, I don't know if this is like a bacteria, like something happened in here, something happened in the water or hitting the light. I'm not sure what happened. But that's basically a summary of all of my plants in the Aero Garden. I'm definitely gonna take some of your kind advice and plant less, like add less seeds. Um, I don't, I don't know if the broccoli would ever be a good idea again because apparently it just needs to grow so high. The cucumber it needs a lot of room as well with all of these stems, and I just can't believe how spiky this cucumber is. The green onion, love this. Like I said, I might keep that in. Maybe I'll just keep in the green onion and the red pepper. Um, the lettuce is tricky, it has a mind of its own. So I will let you guys know what I've decided to do when <laughs> I take everything out, update. The first time I ever did my air garden, I just did herbs like basil, thyme. What else was there? Oh, mint, parsley. That went really well. So I feel like maybe having like two vegetable plants and then the rest herbs, maybe that would be a little bit better in terms of crowding. But really, this is just about trial and error. Life is just about living and learning. <laughs> if you guys have any other questions, feel free to comment down below. I'll be happy to answer. And stay tuned for what happens next with the wedding planning and also with my lovely arrow garden. Bye guys. Maybe that explains something. There's like, I don't know if that's mold, something green around the roots here.